All right, so we drove up to Burlington and now we are at, <laughs> we're at Gardener Supply and we're gonna go look at some plants. Yeah. <laughs> I was filming that. Oh no, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Film section. <laughs> It smells so good in here. Look at these blooms. Oh, this guy, that's adorable. Pussy willows. They're so cute. I want one. <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of brave, I, honestly. I, 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 I want to see, but I don't want to be in the picture. Okay. <laughs> no, I won't, I, won't, I won't get you. Okay, I'm going to try a little piece of this. Ooh. Is that good? Ooh, that's so fun. <laughs> Ooh. Is it tired? Like citric acid. You wanna try? Yeah, a little piece. Ooh. Nice. That's so fun, thank you. <laughs> oh my god. It's really sour. <laughs> it's so sour. <laughs> that's really sour. They're so fuzzy. Yeah, look at this bloom. Wow. That's beautiful. Mm hmm Look at these. Look at this color. That's adorable. These That's are pretty. oh, these are African violets. You seen these before? Yeah, we have one actually at home um, that I got from the plant swap here. Uh oh. And, um, it just it's really tiny. It's just leaves. Oh, okay. Everyone's blooming. <laughs> ah. So cute. Whoa. Oh my god. I want. <laughs> what is it? It's an aloe. Oh. Forty four dollars. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so cool. I haven't seen like one this big and tall. Before. Yeah. The flower is ah. really cool. Oh my god. I want one of these so bad. Super pokey. Bigger pokey. There's another one over here. Oh, wow. This one's big, even bigger. Yeah, it's huge. Uh, How much is That's that beautiful. One? Look at all these jades. Oh, it's so big. Those are really Look cool. Look at the little blooms. They have like dark tips. Wow, those are neat. What is this? Heath? Erica Heath. Look 
That's cool. That is cool. Ponytail palms. Ooh, the discount section. I guess little Miss Wait, those are fig trees. Oh no, fig trees. I'm just living for all of these plants. Oh my god. Look at it. Coming here is like walking in the rainforest. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that leaf. Oh, a whale fin? Yeah. Big boy. Look at these guys. Yeah. Yeah, those are fun. Twisted. Look at that giant snake plant. Oh, she busted out of that pot. Yeah. Wow. That's wild. Up okay, so we are considering possibly buying this huge arch trellis. Um, it's $170 and 80 go stand for scale. Like, it's ginormous. And, like, that's pretty cheap for how large it is, so I don't know. We're trying to figure that out right now. Deep row trays, that's so interesting. Yeah, they're cool. I wonder how those work though like when you pop them out like do you think it's yeah I don't, I don't know, know how works. you plant them me either that's fun cat grass oh the seeds they actually have seed savers here which is really exciting This corn is so pretty. You're gonna get that? Yeah, I think so. Maybe, maybe some more lupins. Ooh, yes, lupins. I love lupins. I know. <laughs> oh my God, that smells amazing. It's a fragrance Wait, fire so starter. What's that mean? Every purchase plants one tree. Oh, okay. It smells amazing. It's like in like this compostable packaging, I think. Hmm. I've never used a fire starter before. Enjoy it. These are my favorite sprayers. Uh, what is the brand? Oh. Dram. They're so nice. Uh, I get the ones that you can like adjust the different spray. Yeah, I've got one of these and then a stick one. Cause you can take these heads off and replace it with the different settings type one. Ooh, they have dram sprinklers too. And I definitely wanna learn how to do drip irrigation this year. This watering can is so pretty, but it's a hundred dollars. Ugh, I want it. It's so nice. It'd be really nice for like on the deck cause I always have to drag the hose up on the deck and it's a pain in the ass. Valentine's Day. 
plant slash Lunar New Year slash whatever kind of holiday they can do. And they got their seeds up. Look at all the birds, oh my goodness. Hi guys. So these are the tomato cages we got last year. Yeah, I think I put bird seeds out for them. Oh, cute. There's a lot of seeds. Wow. Either they spilled or something. Yeah, for little babies. <laughs> That's fun. That's a lot cheaper. So I'm looking for plastic sheeting to experiment with solarization to kill grass and to uh, make it easier for when I till it up. So I was just looking here to see if this is an option because online it's very expensive for plastic sheeting. Um, so yeah, I'm looking for a six mil UV, UV plastic sheeting. I'm just debating if this is safe to use or not. Yeah, I don't know. Cause I've been like struggling cause like I could like cardboard down and kill it, but is that safe because of the P flabs or whatever they're called? <laughs> P fabs. P fabs. Uh, um. Well, why don't we look back at this video? We have the prices on this video mm -hmm. and we can keep looking and if we... Cause those are like probably it, but they don't say anything about UV on them. So. Yeah. The struggles. Struggles, Home Depot queens. Home Depot queens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I'm, I'm good here. If you wanna go on to the next door. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Cool. Frozen plants. Are these trash? I don't think, so. I think these could possibly. Yeah, they kind of like trash. Huh. Hi. Um, do you have some arborvita over by the dumpsters? They have like a blue tag on them. I was wondering if those are trash. If I could try to like take them and revive them. <laughs> Um, or if I can't, I, that's fine. I mean, technically no, but you they kind of disappear. Oh, okay, okay. I, was, I just wanted to double check that they were they were trash though. Yeah, anything out there, like because that's our compost bin. Yeah. So they are just yeah set to be wrong. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're gonna grab some of these. Oh my god, I think they might be frozen, actually, to the... Oh shit, okay. Any that we can actually pick up, because some of them are frozen to the pallet. Does this one look good? Sure. We can just shear off the back, and if it dies, it dies. Okay, you filming? Yeah. Oh god. Can you get it? It's really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
I believe in you. Which other one? Is there one in the back? Top, but this one not. looks okay if this you can one? get this one unfrozen from the bottom. truck after it. <laughs> oh, you got a video over there? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we grabbed three of those and it has filled up our truck bed. Woo! <laughs> and we are on our way to grab some lunch at one of our favorite vegan places in Burlington. This is Pingala, a food truck inspired um, vegan restaurant. And it's cool over here too because they have like a waterfall kind of. It's like right in the back there. For me, AD. What are you doing? Showing everyone your butt. Look at that butt. Oh, look at that butt. <laughs> I like it. It's not very pineapple. I think it's pineapple enough. Mm -hmm. I like it. When there's like outside stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I try? Or here? <laughs> you like it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try the middle piece. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Try dumpling. Mmm, those are really good. Those are good. That's good. The dipping sauce is good. Is it peanut? Uh huh. 
Okay, I'm gonna try the cupcake. Mm -hmm. It's good. <laughs> Okay, next I wanna to go to this Asian market I've been seeing online a lot. So let's go check it out and see if I can find a lot of ramen. Noodles. <laughs> The snacks. Where are the noodles? The noodles are ready. Ooh. All the nudes. I want to try this. Valentine's Day. It doesn't say Valentine's Day, does it? It's little chicken hearts. Little chicken? Little chicken hearts. Where? Little hearts. Oh. <laughs> How you guys holding up? You okay back there? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh-oh. <laughs> we'll uh -oh. see if there's any trees left when we get home. These are so fun, they look like straws. I did ask the, the guy if there was any um, seeds from last year that I could like look through or whatever, but he said they don't have them this year. I, I always like to ask um, at places that have seeds, like what they do with their old seeds, because they're just thrown away. I'm gonna grab some uh, and share them, but I yeah. He, I thought he had said at first that those were the old seeds, for, but he like left them up all year. That's what I thought I overheard. Well, I, that's kind of what he was alluding to, but then I looked and it said 2024, so. He just didn't know, probably. Yeah, well, he said they put up the display this winter, so. But I, I guess they were 2024 20, seeds, like when they put them up. I don't know. Hmm. But yeah, always check. Good to check. What are these? 
the drumstick flowers. Yeah, that's what we just bought seeds for. The oranges. Yeah. Should I grab one more? Maybe one more. Okay. Okay. That's sufficient. <laughs> I'm headed to the car and Adie's checking out from Trader Joe's because it is crazy busy right now and I have social anxiety and hate being inside with that many people. So I'm gonna sit in the car while Adie checks out. Okay, I am in the car waiting for Adie to check out at Trader Joe's and afterwards we're gonna head right over to Healthy Living. It's like seriously right like right behind Trader Joe's. So <laughs> we always uh, double up on these shopping trips. Let's see if healthy living is any less busy. It, it doesn't seem as crazy, so we'll see. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's so weird. Oh my god. Six dollars each? Yikes. What you got? Got black pepper forms. Nice. Nina. Twist tie? but they're out. They have little babies. Look at the little babies. <laughs> That's so silly. That is silly. They have the the milk. Oh yeah. I, I love this milk. Oh yeah, it's right here. <gasps> yes. We got the black garlic last time, right? Yeah. I'm gonna try all of them. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's What's funny. That? Free. Okay, I want this one again. Who does? Super blue. No. <laughs> we should. Then, they're so expensive, lady. I know, but I want to do a taste test. Uh, okay. And then, do you want either of these? Because I don't care about those. But yes, I, I want the blue cheese. But we need crackers. Okay, yeah, let's get Or crackers. something. Yes. Get two of those. Okay. Oh, those have blocks now? Yeah, apparently. 
They have palm shreds too from the that, that, the good place. Yeah, that place is in St. Albans. Yeah. Uh, we don't need this for any reason. No. Okay. How excited are you? I'm excited for all this cheese. This all bacon, the cheese. Vegan cheese. Vegan cheese. Uh, here's our little haul from Trader Joe's. We have some sourdough bread, pasta, 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 99 cents each, which is the cheapest I can find. What did you get? Search? <laughs> I got this when I was checking out and you weren't looking. Dark chocolate with almonds. Bacon? That's my bacon. <laughs> Uh, you saw me get all of these oranges. I love the nipple oranges. Well, they're not called nipple oranges. They're sumo oranges, but the... Come on. There's a nipple. Um, what else did you get? Oh, you saw... I got green, green onion pancakes and tempura cauliflower for dinner. What else did you get? I got bao bun buns. I feel oh. like you just like went on a separate shopping trip for me. <laughs> yeah, you weren't by me. I got these tofu sheets. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna use them for yet. I don't know. I could try to make like a faux bacon or something. Yeah. Um, some Baby Bell vegan cheeses. These are fun to snack on. Um, I got some vegan uh, pesto. I, that just sounds good. Um, these are some of my favorite, like, flavored almonds, the, the like, mesquite smoked almonds. So good. They're really good. They're really good. Mm -hmm. Uh, soy rizo. And then three <laughs> boxes of their blondies. Um, I'm obsessed. Yep. Okay, next up we have, um, stuff from Asian Market. The noodles. Yeah, these are lo mein noodles I'm excited to try out. Uh, this is, I don't know how you pronounce it, Gijigan? Gijigan? Oh, is it Gujigan? A uh, type of noodles. They're like, um, ooh, not, they're like really like soy sauce, pork kind of flavored noodles. Um, I'm excited to try this. This is Samyang Bodaki. Um, this is the chicken carbonara flavor I haven't tried yet. 
And then this is a tried and true classic, the Bulgaki uh, two times spice ramen. These are really good. I don't do the whole spice pack. No, maybe but like a dollop. The noodles are just so good though. I don't this know. is the only one that's vegan. Yeah, it's like, it says chicken on it, but if you look at the ingredients, it's like, it doesn't have chicken with yeah, it anywhere. Yeah, it, it doesn't have chicken, it's only, and, and no milk too, which is hard to find in a ramen so. Yeah. Um, we have some dark soy sauce, mm -hmm. some uh, bean, black bean chili sauce. I'm excited to try this. We've never bought this before. Chili garlic. I like this a lot. I make like a mayo with this. And we put it on like sushi yeah. and stuff. And uh, black pepper sauce. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do like a tofu black pepper. I don't know. So that's from the Asian market. Yeah. Okay, so this is the stuff from Healthy Living. Um, we got two different kinds of like tor grainy tortilla chip things for the cheese. You'll see the cheese in a second. Crackers for the cheese. Basically, this is a cheese hole. <laughs> um, this is one of our favorite, um, like wedge style vegan cheeses. We got the black truffle one last time and ate it in like two seconds. Uh, it's amazing. Sorry if you hear our cats, Basil's attacking a box, but we got smoky Gouda, the black garlic again, um, artichoke and herb and super blue. So I'm excited to have like a blue cheese style dip. So anyway, <laughs> we're going to do a little cheese test in a bit. Um, I got the walnut maple barista, like milk. It's walnut milk with maple. It's, this is the best thing I've put in my It's coffee. really good. It's so good and nutty and like, oh. So It'd be good. cool if you had an ice cream maker and I could make ice cream with Oh, it. I would die. That'd be cool. Stadium dogs. That's um, our favorite hot dogs. My favorite vegan hot dogs. Yeah. We got this Goodless Vegan Mac. We have not tried this one and it looks super cute. I've heard it's good. I don't know if this is... Hmm. Yeah, I've seen it online. I haven't, yeah, we haven't tried it yet. Then uh, Impossible Sausage, our um, grocery store that we go to has been having issues supplying our vegan meat, meat needs. So we just got some Beyond Meat and Impossible Sausage for like breakfast. And then um, these are peppercorns, right? Yeah. And Mexican oregano. Mm -hmm. I think that's it from Healthy Living. Yeah. Um, last but not least is the gardener supply haul. So first off, we got some cocoa core, like a big, big block of it. Um, this is gonna like triple in, in size. So this is great for potting things up, adding some extra um, goodness into our soil mixture. So I always like to have some on hand and these are really handy because they, they expand so you can just keep them dry and they don't take up a lot of space. So I grabbed one of those. This, <laughs> I've been looking for a tray like this for a long time. It's um, one I've seen originally is from Johnny's, but this is for soil blocking and potting. We're gonna have soil here and then be able to pot up our stuff and has little yeah. holders for things but like I get soil everywhere <laughs> when I pot up stuff so this is going to be really handy and this is going to be really good for soil blocking so mm -hmm. I'm excited yeah we usually just use like a um a, a boot tray like yeah a, like thing you leave <laughs> by your door to put your boots when they're yeah. wet or something but this will be really nice I've been yeah since it has extended one. sides and yeah. then um I got just a a marker for gardening that's it's supposed to be like really waterproof i've seen people use them. yeah so it's good to like write on tags and um yeah yeah just uh good to have especially under domes with seed starting so mm -hmm. that'll be just good to have in general and then stop trying to hand me those those are last <laughs> I, that's mine i'm talking you don't talk about it 
This is my spatula I got. Um, I've been. She wanted to get two of them, and I told her no. Well, there was like a little one, and so I was like, they should be together, a little one and the big one. But this is gonna be nice for like scraping the blender or food processor and stuff, because I never can like fit stuff in there, and I'm always like scared to use my like nicer, bigger spatulas and like get it on the blade and stuff. So this will be nice to have. And it's BPA free, which I've been looking for that in a little spatula forever and not very many have that. Okay, star of the show. I said I wasn't gonna buy any more seeds and here we are. Um, I only came out with four. Do you see that? Four. It's not that bad. We, I mean like they had so many seeds. I, The damage could have been so bad. Like mm. I'm very proud of myself, honestly. I'm very proud. Anyway, so. Yeah. Uh, I can show you what we guys, what we guys got. No, what we got. Um, so first up is some kidney beans. I haven't been able to find kidney bean seeds um, really anywhere I've looked, so I kind of like wasn't gonna do them this year. But we saw these and they're high mowing, so they're local and they were like 30% off because they're local. So I was like, okay, we have to get these. Excited about these. Oh, and we didn't get that big trellis. <laughs> oh, no, we didn't. We decided against it. It's too big. And also we're like short people. And like, I can't imagine like having to get a step stool to go out and harvest off a trellis. Like that's, it was that's really much. cool and cheapish, but it's super cheap for what it was. But like, I have no idea where we put it. And I think like, that's why they're not selling them. Maybe. <laughs> well, yeah, that's definitely why it's left over. But yeah, anyway, so kidney beans, um, I love me some drumstick flowers. These are botanical interest ones. I've looked at these constantly while buying seeds. And finally, I was just like, you know what? This is a sign. They have them here. They look gorgeous. I'm getting I them. I wanted them too. Yeah, 80 was like, oh, those look cool. And I was like, no, I'm getting them. Yeah. Like, instantly, like, 80, 80 was like, oh, those are fun. Nope, we're getting them. That, yeah. Yes. Yep. And then after we went to uh, Trader Joe's and they had them there. That's yeah. Like, Wow, that's a sign. No, they always have those there, though. Oh, I haven't noticed. <laughs> oh, I have, because I love them, and they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, and also they're heirlooms. That's cool. Um, so I'm excited to see these, like, little yellow balls around our yard. Yellow balls. They they had um, seed saver exchange at Garden Supply, which I don't think they've had before. I haven't seen that there. Um, so that's really cool that they have them. Um, they always have open pollinated varieties. Anyway, we got some more lupin because that's really fun. I love lupins. And I got some spearmint. I actually haven't picked up any mint at all uh, this year. So I wanted to pick up some spearmint because I like to make tea with that. So excited for that. Yeah. Cool. I Let's think try everything. some cheese. Oh, God. We're doing that now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, let's try this cheese. Yeah. Um, I think let's start off with the smoked gouda. Which thing do you want to try? Okay, fine. Yeah, the black garlic was so good. Oh my god. It smells good. Mmm. These chips are really good. Are they? Mm-hmm. Glad I got them. Yeah, nice. Thank you. How much? I don't know. I'm just kidding. Okay. Thank you. Oops. <laughs> okay, we said smoked Gouda? Yes. Okay. You like it? It's enjoyable. Yeah, it's good. I don't know if it if it's as good as this black truffle. Yeah. Let's try the black. Or pepper. if it resembles like good, like real gouda. How do you do that? Oh. So just open roll. Easy. Okay. This is the black garlic. Wait, is it black garlic or black? Oh, I thought it was black truffle. Black garlic. Not yeah. you chip. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah. Mm. It's super good. This one's good too. They both taste, they kind of taste the same. No, but the unami, on, like the unami on the black garlic is just unbeatable. Like, yeah. Oh, so good. Okay, which one's this one? This is the uh, artichoke and herb. Artichoke and herb. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. That's really good. Mm. Wow. Yeah, it's like herby. It's almost um goat cheesy tasting. Yeah. Hmm. That's it like might fresh. be better than like this. And better no. than the No. <laughs> no, I like Not the black better than the black better. garlic. But that is really good. It's like lighter mm -hmm. and more citric. Citrix? Citrus? More yeah, citrusy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which I'm scared. I don't really like blue cheese. Look at it! That's funny. Ew. <laughs> I like a blue I like a blue cheese. <laughs> I like it in like mixed into ranch, but but not by itself usually. <laughs> okay. It's not strong. No. It's not strong at all. It just tastes like cheese. I don't taste the blue. Yeah, it doesn't taste like blue cheese. It's not gross enough. <laughs> Alright, what was our That's favorite? Good. So the black garlic? Let me try it. It's. I think I like the artichoke. I like the artichoke the most, I think, now. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Save them dinner. Save them dinner. Mmm. It's so punchy. I'm gonna try mm, it again. Mm, 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 mm. This would be really good on like a Greek salad. Ooh, yeah. Like with olives. Like it tastes very Mediterranean. It's really good, but I think if we're going for like cheese and crackers or like an order of kind of um, charcuterie board type thing. I think it's still the black garlic for me. But honestly, all of them are really good. Like, yeah, they're all really good. Yeah. They just, they're like, they're the perfect consistency. They're so creamy, like. Yeah. You can cream it like on. It's a great soft cheese. It's really good. Which is pretty rare for, I don't know any other soft vegan cheeses. No, not like that. And honestly, the ingredients are pretty, pretty good. Honestly, yeah. it's just like cashews, coconut oil, uh, quinoa water, <laughs> quinoa water, <laughs> nutritional yeast, miso, sea salt, fermented or uh, oregano extract. <clears throat> and um, it has active cultures, which yeah, like we. Both of us usually never like vegan cheese with active cultures. Cause they, they're too zingy, but this is like perfect zingy. Like Miyoko's, like ev like most Miyoko's vegans- Miyoko's is pretty intense. Love, most vegans love Miyoko's, but I just have never liked it. Yeah, it just tastes too funky. Yeah. But yeah, this was really yummy. And I had fun with you today. It Me was too. really fun finding the uh, <laughs> Home Depot. I I love those random trips where we just like find a piece of trash. Yeah. And we bring it home and it's great. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dumpster plants are my favorite thing. Yeah, it's super fun. Um, but yeah, hopefully they'll bounce back. <laughs> I think they will. Pimento, get out of Pim! <laughs> Sorry, our cat's in the compost. Cats in the compost. Cats in the compost. Great band name. Band name called it. Cats in the compost. <clears throat> All right. Well, thanks for hanging out with us today. 
uh let us know if you like this kind of video the shopping videos because we had a lot of fun doing this uh yeah but i know once we get into the garden season we won't have as much time to do videos like this pro probably maybe i don't know if you like this a lot maybe we will, we'll try to make time for it yeah but yeah hit us up in the comments let us know if you uh think we made a big mistake bringing those bushes home <laughs> or not if we can if, if, if you have any suggestions on how we can revive them um but yeah uh have a good one we'll see you next time bye bye